today, I'm gonna go see my friend Andy Vernon's cajon shop up in Pennsylvania. Come and join me, it's about to be fun. So sometimes when you visit an artist, the hardest things at time is to really ponder and see when he or she first had in mind of what to create. And I've always admired artists and part of the thing that I admire the most is where they make their art. And sometimes that's where they get their most inspiration. When I see somebody that makes a cajon or makes congas and they see a piece of wood, they see something that a lot of us aren't able to see. A lot of us can't even comprehend. Sometimes we see a piece of wood and think, that's it. But when you go visit someone like Andy that does cajones, that does shakers, and fills in his mind to say, hey, I feel like making something for the world so they could enjoy. Sometimes the sweetest thing you could see is where they're doing it. And their smile and joy in seeing someone else play their instrument or play their art or enjoy their art. Art is something that we all should strive to get or express in some sort of way. guy sees a table and says hey I can make a cajon out of this this guy sees an old cabinet and decides hey I can make something out of this and that's what really separates somebody that's able to see life when everyone else just sees something that's already dead that's what artists do and seeing cajones and seeing how each one is unique and sound different in his own way it just shocked me and inspired me to be more creative when I play and because he does things that is just different from everyone else's even if it's to add a different inlay or different design or to challenge himself and do different shapes and do different sizes of cajones and one sounding more snary than the other and one sounding more boxy than the other that's what really separates artists so I just want to say thank you, Andy. Thank you for giving me the chance to visit you, visit your shop, and just really enjoying everything that you do. The cajon I got is very unique on its own. Uh, obviously, it's two different types of woods on it. But, man, the sound is what I prefer. I am somebody that likes a little bit of a snary sound, but at the same time likes a caja sound so I'm like stuck in between a Peruvian sound and a Spanish sound or something that could also get away using if I'm in a rumba somewhere obviously it's not a rumba cajon but it's 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 amazing it's a beautiful sound I'm one that's very picky when it comes to cajons I, I you know when you invest in something you gotta invest in something that's good 
and I'm one that really, really loves to support people that are individual engineers and individual craftsmen and and come up with things on their own. I'm, I'm one of those that, that believe in that person and believe in that style of business, man. So check Andy out at uh, Corazon Cajones. I'll link all his info below um, where you can contact him. I believe he has a festival coming up in a couple of weeks in Jersey. So if you're in the area, check out. He's going to have a booth with all these cajones. And you could get one from him and uh, let him know that you saw them here, that you heard it here. He's going to have some claves there that are beautiful. He's going to have some different style variations of instruments that you're going to be able to choose from. So please support you know your local businesses and support the little guy, man, because... Those are the guys that, that grind every day to, to make art, you know? So, y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe. See you guys on Thursday.